Uh, Don Juan is a song uh, off of the 1991 uh, album Spiderland, the second and final album from the post rock band from Leesville, Kentucky, Slint, uh, before splitting up. As a 17-year-old kid suffering from major anxiety problems, I feel as if the song provides with a very realistic and uh, down-to-earth mature way of how people just deal with their uh, social anxiety problems. The instrument, so in my opinion, has like this very ominous guitar riff in the background, and it makes you feel isolated going into the... Uh, before like going to this uh, short aggressive guitar riff for just a few seconds, and that's only in the climax of the uh, the own lyrics and the own song, and then after that it just calms down, as like Don just contemplates with himself to those uh, lonesome guitar riffs. Now, I myself, I'm not really that avid into like pr making or producing music. I'm mostly just a like, pretty avid listener in music, and I just enjoy music for my own pleasure, but. This, but I, what I really love about the song, the lyrics, it just really hits me hard. The uh, lyrics go into these um, these weird and first third person views of like what Don is experiencing at the party. And it just and it just relates to the fact like that's like he just reflects on uh, what he said at the party and himself for saying those things. It relates to the fact how uh, people with anxiety problems deal with social situations such as the party Don was in. He is an essential reflection for the audience who might be might be stuck in a similar situation Don find, finds himself in. And for Slint, where they just use this song to vent how they kind of kind of feel towards like these parties as they did grow up from in a uh, small rural town. And some and most sometimes most of these parties take place in like pretty suburban areas, and there's just like a lot of people, and and with some of the social anxiety, it's a pretty pretty stressful and unnerving situation to uh, go through. <clears throat> Later in the song, uh, Don takes a deep breath, and with his uh, term termination, uh, he goes back inside. What is understood from what Don is doing, he feels like as if he's left out from the party. He wants to be alone. Uh, from the loud party in the house, but the same, but at the same time, later he contemplates with himself. He goes, tries, and uh, goes back inside. Or else he just feels like as if he's just going to be left out of the situation. Coming back inside, Don is nothing more than an observer of the party. He sees the lights, the romancing, the talk, and then, and especially when he just sees the eyes of his friends, the people in the room. Uh, as the song states. <clears throat> his friends stare with the eyes like heads and nails the other glances with amusement with amazement with a contempt so distant with malice for being a sty in their engagement people like social anxiety have this paranoia in these very stressful situations like this that everyone is staring at them and the words chosen for these lyrics just feel so vivid uh, Don knows that these people, his friends, aren't looking at them, him, but he has like this sense of pure dread and agony that he just feels like that these people have seen a malice or hatred against them, and also, he kind of fe kind of feels like these social engagements just have like this negative vibe, vibe also. It just kind of causes him to uh, break loose and just leave the party just just because just because he's just just mentally breaking. He's overwhelmed by what's happening right now as as the song states he's just, it feels like as if he's like trying to talk to people it's just trying to speak to an imaginary audience and he just and like the song just describes how he's just uh floating around in like a deep ocean and just not knowing where to go so don so don just just decides to uh, leave the party uh laps himself on the way home uh, probably contemplating or just hating himself for the fact that he just didn't save the party for a bit longer, or just for the fact that this uh, that his anxiety just ca just caused him to just just lose all of his all the fun and, and enjoyment of the party. What I really loved about also loved about the song is just how um, Brian McMahon just conveys his lyrics in such a and such just lacking so much emotion and just just this very dark tone that it makes it more uh, convincing for Don's story to be very realistic, even though we as an audience know it's obviously not real. This whole, uh, uh, the whole album Spiderland is just this weird reflection on him, like 
the uh, members' real life experiences in a certain way, in some kind of metaphorical sense. Um, later in the song, uh, Don goes to bed and wakes up to look in the mirror where he sees his uh, friend, which I would, in my opinion, thinks that it, it's just himself who he has the only person who he can actually know, really relate to and body and mind. Because, because in all honesty, people with social anxiety know that people will never under, that most people won't understand what the harshness that they're going through. Not even like people who are just like them. And so, that wraps up the video. Uh, I will probably be making these uh, weekly videos covering a song, uh, either songs that I love or songs I started listening to in a span of a. Uh, of that week. Next week I'm probably going to do the uh, hit classic of All Tomorrow's Parties by the uh, Velvet Underground. Uh, like, subscribe, and uh, have a good day.